Let's begin the conversation with Dr. Obadiah Melafia. He is the presidential candidate of the ADC. Thank you so much for coming on tonight on the program. Let me begin by asking you, your party uh, is perhaps one of the new ones, and the issues of structure spread will be a major factor. But in the first place, why do you want to become Nigeria's president? Well, let me just correct an impression. Um, yes, we are one of the new ones, uh, but we've been in existence for almost a decade, and we have structures on every state, every zone, every local government, and every uh, uh, ward in this country. We have people in place. When people talk about structures, uh, it's really all about people. We have the people in place. We may not have offices in every nook and cranny, but we are well spread and we are ready for this. Why do I want to do this? Let me just say it in all honesty. I am the servant leader that this country has been waiting for. I am the servant leader that this country has been waiting for. I have what it takes to lead this country and to take Nigeria to the summit of its glory and its fullest potential. I have what it takes as a development economist, as a renowned international financial expert, uh, as a, you know, somebody who has worked for the government, has worked for the central bank and in development financing, I know the world, I understand the problems of this country, and I've hearkened to the cry of the poor, the desperate, the young people who, whose future has been mortgaged, orphans who have been robbed of a future, widows who cry in midnight in tears. I am for those people. I will stand for them and... I appeal to the whole nation to join me in building a new Nigeria. What is the new Nigeria from your own standpoint? A week ago, the campaigns have opened. What is your main agenda or plan or manifesto or policy document as uh, the different language has been used by different political parties? What are we expecting from you? We rolled out our program a few weeks ago, and uh, I have to say, in all modesty, I haven't heard anyone talk the things I, I spoke about. We have four Ps. The first P is peace. My name is Obadiah, and, uh, and Melafia is my family name. Obadiah in the Old Hebrew Old Testament means servant of the Most High. So I see myself as a servant of the people. We've been ruled by masters and slave drivers, not servants. I present myself to the people of Nigeria as the servant leader, the one that this country has been waiting for. Mailafia <laughs> means a man of peace in the Hausa language. This is what I bring, servant leadership and peace. The first foundation for progress is peace. We are going to tackle the insecurity in this country not only in its ramifications, but in its roots and its very foundations. Those people who have been on a rampage, killing people, wrecking havoc on communities, let them get the message very clear that a new generation of leadership has arisen in this country. We are going to fight them on the streets we will fight them in the cities. We will fight them in the creeks. We will fight them in the desert. Their days are numbered. This country will live in peace, and we are going to have progress in this nation. To ask you, for Let example, uh, sorry if I'm a button. Since you're talking about peace, uh, Nigerians will love the hearing of such a word, peace. Uh, even the word it entirely needs peace right now. But is it how that you are going to make this happen, that will concern an average Nigerian watching you right now. For example, the situation in the northeastern region of the country uh, with the Boko Haram insurgents. How are you going to tackle that, for example? Well, 
we uh, I cannot tell you everything. Uh, I you may not know this, and many of our listeners may not know this. I'm a development economist, but I also have a background in military science. I was a, a, a fellow of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies for many years. I dealt with security and defense issues. I am not going to sit here and let out all the secrets of what we are going to do, but we are going to use sophisticated technology. We are going to use drone technology. We are going to create a territorial army. Just look at what happened. And my heart bleeds for the gallant Nigerian soldiers. A hundred of them were killed you know, a few days ago. This is the great Nigerian army that some of us grew, grew up to know. I, I feel deeply for, for, for their families, for the, for the, the widows they've left behind. We have put in place a mechanism that we're going to tackle these people and we are going to defeat them because we are on the side of right and they are on the wrong. Okay, so if you talk about insurgency on one hand, involved. sorry, uh, Dr. Melafia, if, if you talk about insurgency on one hand, the issue of uh, the crisis that has been happening over several decades with, between herdsmen and farmers, that are seeing the loss of lives in many parts of the north central region of the country and in other parts of the country. How would you tackle this? Are you using science too? Look, let's get it very clear. I used to also believe, like you, that it's a simple issue of headsmen. A lot of these people are not even Nigerians. They've come from foreign countries. They are mercenaries from foreign countries. We should be able to differentiate between those ones and then the genuine Nigerian headsmen. We have no problems with that. We've been living with them for centuries. People have intermarried and they've lived together in communities. They know each other. Uh, those ones, we, we know them. There's no problem with them. Look, for genuine Nigerian herdsmen, there needs to be what they call a modus vivendi between the farmers and, and uh, you know, uh, and the herdsmen communities. Uh, we need to also have social intervention programs that would help everyone. We need to build confidence and restore peace, which is what we are going to do. Now, peace... It's one of the, the programs we have. The second one is people. Our focus in the ADC is mainly on the youth and on women because they are the majority. We are going to empower women. We are going to empower the youth. We are going to empower the disabled. Okay. We are going to uh, so the education It's good that you're talking about the people put. now. Sorry if I may come in quickly. Uh, there are a lot of issues to take uh, you up on tonight. Uh, if you become president, what figure or what amount would you pay to Nigerian workers as minimum wage? Well, you know, one can do some grandstanding and just name a figure. Uh, let me just make it clear that I'm a believer in the minimum wage. Economic science has established clearly that a minimum wage actually can be very good for the economy because it boosts aggregate demand and, you know, it, it enhances welfare. But we have to do it in a gradualist approach. 30000 is the minimum wage that I can envisage. Uh, if you left me, I would say actually 40000 uh, We should think about moving towards 40000 but another thing is that I don't believe that we need a uniform minimum wage for everyone across the country. Costs of living in Lagos, Abuja, and Port Harcourt are relatively higher than costs of living in, let's say, Damaturu in Yobe or, you know, or, or, or Dutse in, uh, uh, you know, Jigawa. So it varies from, from state to state and from region to region. In London and in Europe, you know, minimum wages are based on, you know, cost of living adjustments. So we need to also look at those issues. All right. But generally, um, we need to move towards a minimum wage that gives workers, a, 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 you know, a, a meaningful life. All right. Quickly, because you've uh, played in the central bank terrain before, and let me quickly take you there, and uh, I'd like you to quickly touch on the economy. 
the MPC, the last MPC meeting that we saw in the last few days, they kept the status quo. They did nothing because of uh, what they believe is their findings on the state of the economy and foreign exchange and all that. Uh, are you impressed with what is happening? If not, what would you do differently? Well, let me just put it this way. I mentioned the first two P's, peace, and I mentioned people. The next one is power and infrastructures and then prosperity. Uh, I'm an economist. This is what I do best. With regard to uh, my colleagues, my former colleagues in the central bank, well, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I feel sad to say that I think that uh, the CBN is, is, is missing, is losing its way. I think that under this administration, its autonomy has been seriously undermined. I don't think they are fully in charge of what they're doing. There's a lot of meddling, you know. Uh, exchange rates have been kept artificially high by people who have a vested interest on imposing themselves uh, 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 on the CBN. And there's a lot of political interference. And that is very dangerous for monetary policy. It is very wrong. And I think, you know, keeping the MPR at that level is not satisfactory. Uh, I definitely would do things differently. I, I wouldn't want to sit here and breathe down the necks of my colleagues. I know they are working under very difficult circumstances, but I can assure you there's too much political inf interference and they are not having the autonomy to do what they have to do. All right. And that is very regrettable. I would do things differently. I, I would okay. reduce uh, the MPR. Dr. Malafia. Uh, and, you know, I, I would sterilize some of the funds uh, that are coming in so that they don't increase, you know, inflationary pressures, which is one of the fears that people have. And for me, you cannot argue that you will keep the MPR high because you want to attract you know, foreign capital. The okay. needs of this economy are so much bigger. We have to leave it and at that. We need to reform, Dr. Melafia. reform the CBN to make it a world-class monetary authority. Okay. Thank you so much for your thoughts tonight. The ADC presidential candidate. In the coming days, we'll hear more from you as we engage the presidential candidate in the race towards 2019 presidential election. Dr. Obadiah Melafia, a former deputy governor at a CBN. Thank you so much for coming on the program tonight.